How guys, I actually really enjoy the bin build as my leak starter build. I recently have used the explosive arrow as my leak starter build. It just didn't feel really good as a leak starter. Just the damage doesn't scale well enough into the leak game. Even in the mid game, like the yellow tier, it starts to fall off a little bit. You can feel that you're killing bosses takes a long time for the explosive arrows. So I decided to change the bane build. The bane build just feels so much move. Although killing boss still takes a while because you are going for damage over time. Once the beta stacks from ascendancy starts to stack up, you're gonna deal a lot of damage. You don't know what the wittering presence does. It's basically an ascendancy notes that actually wittes the nearby enemies. And you can stack up to 15 stacks. And every stack the enemy gets, they get 6% more damage onto them for chaos damage. So the max stack I think is about 15. So you can get up to 90% more damage onto the monsters. But it takes a couple of seconds before you actually get to the max stack. So it's not that bad, but um, pretty tanky build against bosses, very nice survivability with good da decent damage against bosses, takes a while you know, and if you guys didn't know, the bin skills with spell damage, damage over time, and any chaos damage multiplier. And the nice thing about bin is that it's actually scaling with curse, meaning the more curse you have, on the enemy, the more damage the bin does. So we are actually running three curves in our build. We have the glove, which is Vincent, the glove. We have the beast of dooms and the base curse. So addition of the curse and from beast of dooms, we get about three curse, right? You can go for four curse for a little bit more damage from your ascendancy, but I feel that like there's not much good curse in the game that I would want to run for curse. The curse we are running is basically despair, uh, and feeble temporal chain. And feeble and temporal chain is a bit more like a defensive ones. Despair is like more of an offensive curse. You basically chaos penetration onto the monsters. It's very important for despair because some monsters has pretty nice chaos resistance. So you really want that despair to go off. So about 3 curse, the damage is pretty good, you can go for 4 curse, but I don't know what the 4th curse you really want, because there's not much curse that we can really run, because the other curse in the game is basically just increasing physical damage taken by the monsters, or for critical and whatever, right? So I, I think 3 curse is just the right spot, and we can get the other ascendancy nodes, but definitely if you want 4 curse, you can go for it anyway. So I was mapping um, with about 20 currency, 20 chaos of currency invested into my character, able to do like yellow maps into like mid tier yellows pretty nicely. But in this video, I invested quite a little bit more and able to do like bosses and tier 11s a little bit better. So I will be showing the tier 11 map of the caldera mapping it's pretty smooth against the mobs against the boss take a while like maybe like 10 to 20 seconds similar to the metamorph boss but overall not bad um i feel that i gotta find more currency and i'm gonna get the sovereign wrapping to go for the low life in the end game i think in um i think low life is overall better as an end game compared to ci and hybrid Low life, you can get pain atonement. You can run a lot more auras because you can link the aura to your blood magic using your life as a mana reservation as well. So you can run like four or five auras depending on what type of aura you're running. I'm thinking about running the classic malevolence for damage over time, definitely. Skitter bots is really good because it's shock and chills. Um, discipline is really nice and probably arctic armor as a defensive aura there's also not much aura that actually skills with our chaos damage it's more like giving a defense and skitter bots actually has nice offensive and defensive because when it shocks the enemy they take more damage so that's pretty good so overall you can go for three different style you can go for low life which i currently aiming for 
it's a bit more expensive because saffron wrapping is really really expensive you can go for a hybrid which i did for my early game from act 1 to act 10 i went with hybrid super cheap to build and with hybrid is actually you can it's actually really good because hybrid you can go for devouring diadem you can run like four auras you can get really tanky with mind over matter pretty good damage as well and survivability especially because devouring diadem actually triggers feast of Feast of the Flesh every few seconds which actually consume corpse around you to, to regenerate life and energy shield and mana and all this kind of stuff so it's actually very very tanky when you have Devouring Diadem and you're running hybrid CI is okay, it's just in the right spot of like decent tankiness, damage is there but definitely low life is more of a damage style because of pain atonement and like the 4 or 5 auras so overall I think this build is really good for a leak starter I definitely recommend this build as a leak starter just for currency farming or if you like want a really solid nice build to go into like to the late game and like kill the bosses get your challenges done and finish the leak this build definitely you can go really far to the bosses just really enjoy this build probably one of my more enjoyed one I didn't expect myself to enjoy Bane that much because I'm not really a damage over time type of player I really like that bursty damage but this is really different I just really enjoy it and I don't know what build I'm gonna run next probably I go melee or maybe I just go like the new skills artillery I was also thinking about going fireball build with golomancer maybe it works maybe it don't I don't know we'll see and I'll keep you guys updated so for now I'm gonna, gonna show you guys my skill tree of my current character and also some of the path of building how you can change things around depending on whether you're playing hybrid CI or low life just some minor changes for the different style that you want but I'm just gonna show you my CI character skill tree so I'm just gonna show you my current character setup able to run early raid maps pretty nicely so I'm just gonna run all the defensive flasks and maybe like one offensive so I went with the witch fire brew potion just a overall very nice um, damage flask because you actually get this pair curse 21 so more penetration and get the increased damage over time during flask effect so that's really nice helmet you can go with this i went for this right at the start when i started mapping it's just overall a really nice helmet to have um very good damage in terms of helmet so this helmet actually gives quite a bit of energy shield as well and it's just have pretty good stats you know like energy shield damage and the other stuff only cost about like one chaos or like one alchemy i don't know how much it costs for this glove we just went a vincent entrapment glove it's a must have for for this build this glove is a must have it's just some energy shield and basically the main important part is you can apply additional curse and whenever you use a curse skill you cast a curse Whenever you cast a curse skill, it actually triggers a socketed curse skill. So when I click right click for bin, it's actually gonna go and trigger all the socketed curse. So there's temporal chain and feeble. I went ahead and enhanced support on it. Pretty fucking good. Next we actually have like face run, um cast when damage taken. Um desecrate, I don't know why I put that in. But that's Summon Lightning Golem, Cast with Damage Taken, Face Run, Immortal Core. Immortal Core is really good since we are having above 6k energy shield. Lower than that, we probably want skill skin. But Immortal Core is just overall really good. I just put my Void Manipulation here. It's the 6 link that you want. But I just put it here. Just to level it up. And for 6 link, it's just Bane, Control Destruction efficacy sweep affliction despair basically just more damage and damage stuff 
and you can go with shoe charge with 45 and faster attack speed or something like that so they can charge faster but i really like flame dash like the overall smoothness of flame dash aura i'm going with malvolence for more damage over time summon skitter bots for the chill and the shock and probably the last aura i would want to run is discipline probably you can only run discipline with the other two auras if you are either hybrid or low life because low life you can put blood magic and reserve your hp you so that's the only way you can run more than two auras on this build but currently the only auras i'm running is just malvolence and skitter bots if you run discipline you get about near 7k plus which is pretty nice I'm probably gonna upgrade my helmet soon to like a 300 energy shoe one so I can get a lot more energy shoe than this and uh, for gear it's very very standard boots you just want rest energy shoe movement speed is nice but I couldn't get one that is cheap enough belt I went a crystal belt baited breath is really good I actually use baited breath for most of my time playing this build until Yesterday I changed to a crystal belt. Crystal belt is pretty good. You can I got a tri rest one with some energy shield. You can even craft more energy shield mods onto it. I'm probably gonna craft away the maximum life for energy shield. And this one is a must have, like I said, and the rings are just to cap up the rest, got some energy shield. For my amulet, I just want attributes and energy shield. Um, strength is really important and dex because you have very low strength so you want to have enough strength to run immortal core which is very important and also enough dexterity to run your skill gems like your affliction and your temporal chain which are dex based for shield i went with like high spell damage and energy shield and also some resistance here and there this cost me one exalt but you can go for something really cheap as well and also you don't have to run one wand and one shoe you can go for dagger and shoe you can go for staff if you go for staff you don't want to get the arcane guarding arcane guarding is only when you have shoe i just really like shoe because a bit more tankiness and you also get like the spell damage notes which are really nice and also you get spell damage on the shield so it's like a nice defensive and damage um, item one you want damage over time kills damage over time multiply and just spell damage because spell damage skills with your brain damage and the other stats like kills damage over time multiplier damage over time all skills with the bane so it's really nice to have a good amount of damage for golem I just went with the lightning golem for more cast speed you can go for things like chaos golem or like the other golem for more defensive stats all of them works pretty well i just really like the more cast speed but the bin itself has a very nice base cast speed already so i don't know maybe you can just go with other golem that's pretty good as well so for skill tree nothing too insane you can look at my path of building i just went over here grab all the energy shield and like the damage and the curse basically most of the curse damage and damage over time just get all of them because that's the only real way to scale in this build in terms of damage so the only few jewels i'm gonna get is over here here and probably at the side this one i put energy from within just to get a lot more energy shield from these nodes so if you pick this out it's actually life so i put it back in and get a lot more energy shield and the energy sh from within b on its own has um increased maximum energy shield so that's pretty good i went down and grabbed all the energy shield nodes you don't have to get all the energy shield nodes you can maybe get like half of it or maybe just the foresight which is a really nice uh, note but i just really like the tankiness if i want more damage i can refund like one or two of them if you decide to go low life which i have decided to go low life you actually want pain atonement which is 30 percent more damage on low life pretty damn good and i just grab all the shoe this shoe actually this shoe notes actually give you more damage right five percent more damage per five percent chance to block i have about 20 plus percent 
ten percent more damage. And probably gonna grab the other end as well. And also this part, I keep guarding a lot more energy shield from your equip shield and also like spell damage over here does damage and some defensive and damage over time basically very simple build nothing too insane but once I get like Sabron Rapid I'm probably gonna refund this point because it's a useless point anyway we can refund this and go for low life from this point put it here Pretty simple, you can go for hybrid. Hybrid basically you just wanna grab the HP nodes instead of the energy shield. More of the hybrid ones. You wanna get mind over matter and you want devouring diadem. For ascendancy, of course going Oculus. Profane Bloom is the first one you wanna get because hexproof type enemies means you cannot curse them. So you kinda wanna curse them early on because if you cannot curse them they are actually really tough to kill. So Profane Bloom is probably the first one you want to get. Then I actually recommend getting Void Beacon. I really like this one. Then Returning Presence. Just very very nice damage. The last one is really up to the player on its own. It's either this one, Maldiction or Val Bastion. I went with Val Bastion because I wanted more of an energy shield style. You can go for Maldiction and go for more damage because it has increased effect of curse apply additional curse so your bin actually get more damage because your bin actually get more damage the more curse they have and also like increase curse effect but I really like the regeneration of the energy shield so I just went, get, went ahead and get Val Bastion which is a really good note the other ones are not worth looking into so it's either this one or this one that's the only real choice but 100% you want Profane Bloom Vow Beacon, Void Beacon, and Returning Presence. These three is a must have. The other ones is really up to the player. I only recommend Vow Bastion if you are going um, low life or energy shield, CI basically. And Maldition, I really recommend it for hybrid because you don't really need the energy shield regeneration anyway. So I just gonna put my path of building link in below. You can check it out and um, see how you wanna change the build I recommend trying out different style don't have to run the same thing as me um, but this skill tree is pretty good and really nice damage once I actually get low life and um, get like my low life build going I'm gonna keep you guys updated on it but for now it's just a CI build pretty nice one anyway hope you guys have a nice day and enjoy the build alright